welcome back, folks. I feel like an idiot. There are no, uh, mortal chests like I thought I was remembering. But, oh well, that just means we can run, run, run past this farm area. Past these, bruh, wannabe assassins. And just start heading down to Eggly. Wow, you can tell Elvin. Well, I guess their boots may have uh, a unique uh, a tread on them, I suppose. Hmm, imagine that. Oh, it doesn't mean we're not going to fight him. Oh, we're going to fight him, all right. I think we're going to go down to uh, Eggly, right north of Tanner's, and then loop back around, and then back up to Tanner's and go back down. Just because it sounds like fun. Hey, are we in Eggly already? I do believe we are. Let's check this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I was expecting you to steal stuff again, Locklear. Oh, you're gonna steal stuff from this house. Fifteen silvers. I hope you f feel good about that. Does no one live in Eggly? before their eyebrows arched inquisitively. Welcome to nowhere, sire. Ho ho ho! What can I do for you today? <clears throat> I do believe this is the loneliest tavern I've ever visited. Where is everyone? Everyone is elsewhere, with the exception of Rake, myself, and a handful of boarders that have wandered in from off the road. There's not been another soul in town since the festival. Everyone? Why? What happened here? From the eighth hour of last evening, a cloaked gentleman entered through that same door there and took a seat. He ordered a joint of beef, a loaf of bread, and a mug of ale. I remember these things because I had ordered the same. Imagine that. As soon as he finished his meal, he went to the tavern keeper and, and <clears throat> tossed down fifty gold and sovereigns, turned round, and was gone by the door. Before the first of these coins stopped their spinning on the counter, the rest of the people in the tavern rushed out after him. The keeper didn't even latch the door. Some sort of deal? Nope, some sort of damn local ritual. It seems I arrived in the middle of a ceremony that was called the Festival of the Stranger. Traditionally, the elders of the town would gather in the tavern and draw lots on... Draw lots, and the one with the long, longest lot was dubbed the Stranger. On the first night of the festival, the Stranger comes around and offers the members of the town's fake sovereigns. They called them Nymtos. And then the citizens of the town would leave to sleep in the fields. Of course, I wasn't aware of what was going on. And they're supposed to stay in the fields? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. The next morning, the elected stranger is to circle the village three times while swinging a strand of hemp over his head. When he is done, he cuts the length of rope and sets it on the road to let the people know that they can come back. They then know that Killian is lo looking with good fortune on their township and that she won't strike their field dead. If the strand is not placed, however, it means that she was displeased and any citizen that attempts to return to town will be struck dead. Was a stranger killed by Killian? No, not Killian, but by a man named the Collector to whom he owed money who, he, who didn't know about the town's tradition. It didn't matter to the citizens of Egley, though. They still chose to see it as a sign from Killian, and they haven't returned since think the place is cursed, and won't return until the curse is lifted. They relocated in Tanner's, Hawk's Hollow, and a few in Malik's Cross. 
They all believe they've done right, done the right thing, and have given me permission to do whatever I wanted here. Out of respect for them, I've decided to keep the old town name of Avery. I don't know. It seems people would have to be pretty thick to believe all that. Would they? Would you have the nerve to split, spit on a shrine of a shop? No, but I guess I can see you burnt. Everyone has their beliefs. Many people in these villages at one time were farmers, and it is difficult for them to simply turn their backs on the goddess of nature. They require her blessings before they can go on to new lives. You should remember that before you judge something to be ignorant. So, as my new job as bartender of this tavern, I suppose it's my duty to see if you need anything. Can I set you up? Uh, let's talk about festival. Which... Which god did you say this festival of the stranger was in celebration of? The fertility goddess, bringer of the harvest, the earth mother, Sylvan, pick a name, all mean the same thing. She's the wench to whom Ma and Pa ugly pray to have little runt ugly and enough wheat to eat through the winter. Can't say I have much use for her. Is there a temple of hers nearby, or... Straight west of Egley, then north at the crossroads. Big white building with the columns. Smells like a whore's bedchamber. Hard to miss. I like this guy. Let's talk to Mordo. Uh, talk about that. <clears throat> Someone we ran into up the roads told us they had seen a Mordor Mordell near here. Don't suppose you've seen him, have you? Him? I've seen enough Mordell to start a barrel ball city league. <laughs> Whole clump of them came by here a few weeks ago, heading south in packs of twos and threes down the road towards Tanners. Were they armed? <clears throat> like the war god Tith's own legion. Looked like they might be out to sign as, a, up a, as caravan guards, but who would hire them? Did you go to look at any of them? None of them came close enough to the stranger that... None of them came close enough to the stranger that I could get a good look at them. Now that I think of it, it's kind of peculiar. On the off occasion, when Mordel will crash through a town, they'll usually kick up some kind of ruckish with the, <clears throat> the locals to prove who's the toughest kid on the block. These just marched through town like they were in a parade, you view. Like they were expecting someone to watch them come through. With the whole town to yourself, I'm surprised you haven't opened up any of the other shops or houses. I'm leaving them be until I know what's eventually going to happen here. Never knew what, when some folk's going to show up and want his property back. I don't want to be the idiot holding the bag. If most of the folks were smart, they'd probably lock their houses and I'm not much of a lockpick. <coughs> Excuse me. Know anyone who is? Strange character named Abuk. I ran across him when I was working for the Dauphinus Cassandra of Quaig. We discovered him once when we were boarded when we boarded a Keishan vessel. <laughs> After he helped open a few chests of mercantile, a few choice chests of mercantile, we chained him up the belly of the ship so we could make a present of him to Cassandra. But when we docked in Palenik, we all we found in the hold of the ship was a note saying he could be found in Silden if ever we needed his services. I'd never hired anyone else for a lockpicking job since. And we'll quickly talk about Poke here, I think. Now that, <clears throat> now that I think of it, a man we knew told us he lost a pokier to a devon here in Igley. Would that, would you be he? Depends on why you're asking. Now doesn't it? If you're interested in playing a hand or two, <coughs> <coughs> this voice is really killing my throat. Then I may, might say I'm the same man. If, however, your friend decided to send around a few bravos to collect what I rightfully won from him, what's yours is yours, as far as I'm concerned. I was just wondering how good a player you were. Isaac said you had an unusual talent for it. Isaac? Isaac said I had us <coughs> said I had an unusual talent for it. Now, if that's not the pot calling the kettle black, I never heard it at all. While we were playing, it's as if the sc that scuff knew every thought I had in my head. Every time he would f fold, he'd just look over at his elven friend with a big smile. Elven friends like Thorgath here? 
It could have been brothers by the look of him, yeah. He looked kind of like your friend, but he damn sure wasn't an elf. He was wearing the clothes of one of the Delican's moss troopers. Mordell, no doubt about it. And let's quickly leave. And quickly save. Actually, I'm just going to bookmark right here. Quickly save, and when we come back, we'll talk to him some more.